Hello everyone, did you study well at school? Here in the middle of the screen we have a quick question. We have 2 plus 2 divided by 2 and we have 1 plus 1 inside parentheses. So what is the correct answer? What do you think about it? Here we have three options. We have option A, option B and option C. So right now you can easily pause the video and write your solution and in the end write your answer down into the comment section and in a few minutes we will check your answer. So it is really interesting question to check your algebra skill, to check your school knowledge. It's also really great question for everyone. Okay, so I I really hope you will solve this question correctly. Right now let's look closely at this question. What do we have? We have 2 plus 2, we have divided by 2 and we have 1 plus 1 inside parentheses. And right now a lot of students might be saying, hey mister, this is like the easiest question I ever seen. I can easily solve this question in a few seconds because we have obviously division, addition, we have uh, addition right here, we have division, we have multiplication, we have addition, so it's not like hard mathematical operations. We have parentheses, we have not a huge numbers, we have 2, we have 2, we have 2, so everyone can say that you can easily solve this question in a few seconds. But in the same way, a lot of students make this common mistake, a lot of students solve this question absolutely randomly, they just go from left to right, for example, they go from left to right, we have 2 plus 2 equal to 4, the next thing we have this division, so 4 divided by 2 and 1 plus 1 inside parentheses, and once more they go from left to right, so we have 4 divided by 2 equal to 2, and 1 plus 1 equal to 2 as well. So as a result, a lot of students might be saying, hey mister, correct answer is 4, we have this, this is option B, we solve this question absolutely correct, in a strict order, in a strict order from left to right. Here's a great a great solution, but in the same way you need to understand that you can't solve this question randomly, you can't solve this question whatever you want, because right here, obviously, whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? For example, when we when we add it first, we have one answer. When we divide it first, we have completely different answer, and maybe when we add the thing inside parentheses, we have the third completely different answer, and it turns into a big argument, because a lot of students students arguing with each other about a correct answer, one say that option A is a correct, option B is a correct, option C is a correct, and it turns into a big argument. So right now we need to understand one really important moment. We need to know about a correct order of operation in terms of math. And right now I'm going to show you what is the correct order to solve this problem. And after, after learning this order of operation, we can easily say, okay, 100% correct answer is A, for example, or I don't know exactly a B or C, but we can say it with 100% probability, okay, with, uh, with a correct approach. And right now Let's look closely at this order of operation. Here's our order of operation. Uh, I use PEMDAS order of operation. For example, people use BODMAS order of operation. Uh, and it's okay, obviously absolutely the same thing. It just depending on what country you're in. This is order of operation, I would say, like with the equal sign. This is absolutely the same thing. And in the end of the video, I'm going to show you one extra order of operation, which is called PEMDAS. Okay, a lot of students maybe know about it. I will show you an extra answer about this PEMDAS order of operation. So right now, let's talk about basic PEMDAS order of operation. Maybe like 90% of students use this PEMDAS order of operation because this is classic basic order of operation. So what it means PEMDAS? Uh, this is like a quick checklist. So each of these letters stands for something. For example, we need to go from left to right, okay, because we, we are talking about priority. So it means that left position higher priority, right position lower priority, okay. So we are talking about the first letter, we have letter P, so it means parentheses, okay, obviously the first letter from this parenthesis is P, so we are talking about this type of brackets, we are talking about this type of squiggly brackets sometimes, you know, we are talking about this type of brackets, in bottomless people mainly use this type of brackets, yeah, and sometimes fraction bar is also a group and thimble, so we are talking about group and thimbles, okay, parentheses is our group and thimble, so we are talking about to evaluate the expression inside parentheses at first. Okay, let's go to the next step. After parentheses, we move forward to the next step. The next step is exponents. And to be honest, this is like a power. Don't be scared about it. And these are our powers. For example, we have 2 to the power 3, like 3 to the power 5, 100 to the power 5. So basically, we are talking about the thing. We are talking about powers. Okay, we need to rate these. And after that, we need to go to the next step. The next step is uh, right here we have multiplication. And a lot of students confuse because they say multiplication and after division. It's not works like that. In terms of mass, in terms of this PEMDAS, we're talking about M stands for multiplication, D stands for division. But we need to look at it in a perspective of one group, okay? This is one, one common group. You can't do multiplication before division or division before multiplication. We need to look at it in a perspective from left to right, okay? So right now, let's look closely what I mean right now. If we're talking about the group multiplication, multiplication and division, we need to go from left to right. And whenever we have a mixture of multiplication and division, for example, just a quick example, we have, we have 3 times 5 
divided by 2. Okay, so we have a mixture of multiplication and division. And right now, a lot of students may be saying, okay, m is first, so we need to multiply it first. But it's not works like that. We have a mixture of multiplication division only. We, have, we don't have addition, exponent, parentheses. We have a mixture of multiplication and division. So basically, we need to look at it in perspective from left to right. So what, whatever, or whatever mathematical operator comes first from left to right, and in this case, is this multiplication. So we need to multiply. Right here, multiplication is before division. But when we have a different example, like 3 divided by 2 times 5, a lot of students say, okay, multiplication first, because m right here is first. But it's not worked like that. We need to scan once more what is the first sign from left to right. And in this case, the first sign from left to right is this division. So we need to divide at first. Okay, so multiplication and division have the same priority. If you're talking about PEMDAS, basically the basic one, the basic order of operation. And in the end, we have addition, subtraction. So nothing hard, I guess. And in this case you don't need this order of operation at all because we're talking about basic stuff we can easily do that without any order of operation okay so it was a quick, quick introduction about this pandas order of operation i really hope you understand my thoughts about this PEMDAS. And right now, let's apply this PEMDAS order of operation to this example. We have our question and right now we can easily say, okay, this is a correct order of operation. We know how can we perform and what order we can perform mm, mathematical operators. So right now, let's look closely at our question. So how we solve this type of question when we're talking about a complicated question with parentheses, exponent, division, multiplication? First of all, we can easily write our checklist on the left side or we can erase this stuff from here. It will be like better for you to understand okay the first step from here is parentheses okay let's scan where do we have parentheses in our question let's scan where do we have it right here we have parentheses so the first step is to evaluate the expression inside parentheses okay so let's do this right now we can we need to evaluate the expression inside parentheses because parentheses has the highest priority so the same beginning what do we have right here we have two plus two divided by two and we have times times 2, 1 plus 1 equal to 2. Okay, and a lot of students are confused because of this parenthesis right here, but to be honest, we're talking about basic order of operation. We're not talking about pejim does. Right now, I'm going to show you about the how can you solve this question according to a basic method. And in the end of the video, I'm going to show you the thing which is called like implicit multiplication. And then we can easily see a different answer. But to be honest, we're talking about um, basic PEMDAS order of operation. We're talking about basic school order of operation. And I, I think the 90, 95 maybe percent uh, people in the world use this PEMDAS, not like Pejim does, but Pem does. But Pejim does is like a special case of Pem does. And I'm going to show you this Pejim does in a few minutes. It will be really interesting. Okay, right now I'm going to talk about this Pem does. And according to Pem does, we can actually get rid of these parentheses. Okay, we can actually get rid of it because we have only two inside of it. So it's 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 not a complicated expression like uh, squares, cubes. We have only two. So this is like a basic basic value, basic uh, basic constant. So right now we can actually get rid of these parentheses. So we have two plus two divided by two, and we have right here times two. We don't, we don't mention that we have right here multiplication, but uh, obviously in 100% of cases right here is multiplication, not division. Okay, so we complete this parentheses part. Right now, let's go to the next step. The next step after parentheses is E, exponent. And right now, let's scan our expression in terms of like exponents. Let's see what will happen. We don't have any cubes. We don't have any cubes. Fourth power, fifth power right here. So we don't we have anything to raise. Okay, so right here, we need to skip this part, we don't have any power, so we just skip this exponent part. Let's go to the next step. The next step is multiplication and division group. Don't forget about this parenthesis, because a lot of students might be saying multiplication, so now we need to multiply right here 2 times 2, which is obviously incorrect. Right now we need to scan where do we have in our question? Mm, our multiplication division mixture looks like that. So right here, let's scan in terms of multiplication and division. So don't forget about division, scan overall about multiplication and division, okay? Let's do this. So the first thing is that Addition, we don't need it. Yeah, we have division right here, so we apply it to both numbers, and we have multiplication the next step. And right now, a very tricky moment because, as I told before, we have a mixture of division and multiplication. So right now, we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right. Here's here's our mm, example. Yeah, we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right. And in our case, the first sign from left to right is this division. So in our head, we need to put brackets right here only in our head because. We need to imagine right here other brackets and we need to divide at first to divide it by two. So from here, what do we have? Two plus two divided by two equal to one and we have times 
times 2. And right now, let's look closely what do we have. We have 1 times 2. We still, we still need to do this because we have multiplication by 2 on the on the right side. And right now, 1 times 2 equal to, equal to 2. So as a result, what do we have? We have 2 plus 1 times 2 equal to equal to 2. So basically what do we have from, from this from this order of operation? We have multiplication, we have division, and right now we have addition. So we complete this multiplication and division part. We can easily say that we complete it and we go to the next step. The next step is addition. And we have it and basically we don't need this order of operation right now because this is very basic addition. So 2 plus 2 equal to equal to 4. And this is our answer to this question according to this according to this PEMDAS order of operation. And a lot of students might be saying, okay, mister, but in the previous step, in the beginning, so uh, just remember this uh, four, but let's look closely in the beginning right here, because in the beginning they say, okay, mister, but in the beginning you said that four is a correct answer when we go in a strict order, when we go in a strict order from left to right, for example, just look at it, what I mean right now. We are talking about the basic order from left to right, we are talking about uh, two plus two equal to four, and then division by two, and then one plus one, and then we are talking about four divided by two equal to two, times one plus one equal to two equal to four, okay? Uh, I, I show you this in the beginning, but uh, I wanna mention one really interesting moment. This is a wrong approach. You solve this question absolutely randomly, but somehow it happens that you solve this question absolutely correct. Four is a correct answer, yeah? But you solve this question with the wrong answer. It's really important moment because solution is wrong. This is very bad solution. You solve this question absolutely randomly, but option uh, B is a correct answer. It's uh, You solve this question like that, but this a wrong solution. So right now we need to mention one really important moment. This is a correct solution and a correct answer. Right here in the beginning we had a wrong a wrong a wrong solution and a correct answer. So it happens sometimes in terms of mass. So right now we can easily say that a correct answer is a correct answer is four. And right now I want to show you a few words about, uh, for example, about uh, one really important thing, which is called Pejim does. Okay, a few words about it. So right now let's keep in mind that four is a correct answer. We solve this question according to according to Pejim does, according to Pem does, sorry. And right now a few words about Pejim does. Here's our order of operation. Pejim does. Okay, and uh, right now if you look closely, this is absolutely the same thing as Pam does, but according to Pam does, we have right here implicit multiplication. What I mean implicit multiplication? This is also called as multiplication by juxtaposition or implicit multiplication. It's what you see when you multiply two things without putting a time symbol. So right here we don't have a time symbol and that means implicit multiplication. And in terms of some orders, we need to we need to do implicit multiplication before multiplication and division. So what I mean right now, just look close then. Right here it's implicit multiplication and some order, some order of operation said that we should do this before multiplication and division. What I mean right now, it means like that. We have two plus two divided by, right here, we need to divide it by the whole product on the right side. So this multiplication by juxtaposition, after, after of course, parentheses, when we solve this parentheses part, we have right here two, okay? It means that we divide it by the two times two, okay? Two times times two. It means in, uh, multiplication by juxtaposition. And why I mentioned that I solved this question according to PEMDAS, because PEMDAS, order of operation, okay? Because PEMDAS, order of operation, it's a basic method. We are talking about maybe 95% of students use this PEMDAS order of operation, but PEMDAS does. It's like a special case of this PEMDAS, and I know that there are a lot of calculators which like calculate according to this PEMDAS order of operation, but I want you to understand that if Pejim does is mentioned, it might be a local or informal adaptation with a specific context. There are a lot of calculators which use PEMDAS order of operation, and sometimes, uh, you know, Pejim does is inform in, we can easily use this in information technology, this Pejim does order of operation, or computer engineer. But in most cases, people use PEMDAS order, PEMDAS order of operation, okay? PEMDAS order of operation. In most cases, people use PEMDAS order of operation. And right now, a few words about mm, this expression, because when you want to say, okay, I wanted to divide it by the whole product on the right side. So all you need to do, just put parentheses right here, okay? Without any implicit multiplication, without any problems, you can easily put this 
uh, brackets right here and then after this uh, let me just erase all of this stuff and what I mean right now according to Pedium does if you want to mention that you want to divide by the whole entire product on the right side according to this implicit multiplication just put brackets right here okay and with these brackets it means that you divide these two by the whole product on the on the right side so just use brackets to immediately eliminate the ambiguity in this problem or use two steps so the first step right here you can easily use a vertical orientation so this expression can be written in terms of like a vertical orientation so two divided by two and one plus one this is the first step okay or the second step you can easily use parentheses okay and uh, this is like our first step right here first way and the second way is also but you need to put parentheses so we'll as a result we will have two divided by and right here we have parentheses we have one plus one and then you immediately eliminate the ambiguity uh, in this problem okay so vertical orientation if you want to mention that you divided by the right side but this is this is an old method this is pedium does it's like a special case of PEMDAS. so if you want to mention that you divided by the whole product on the right side you just need to use a vertical orientation or you just need to change this by division sign or parentheses the main rule just try to be ambiguous about what we're trying to present okay here is the main the main thought i really hope you understand it so here's our two interpretations in, in case of like maybe you need pedium does maybe you need implicit multiplication but i hope that you don't need this pedium does because people mainly use them does not like pedium does maybe like five percent in my experience people use pedium does so if you wanted to if you wanted to uh, interpret this question in terms of like pem does pedium does just use a fraction bar or just division sign or just parentheses so the main rule just try to be an ambiguous uh, about what you're trying to present okay i prefer pem does i prefer pem does order of operations so here's our mm, solution once more here's our answer we have four we have, mm, have our solution our answer so according to PEMDAS is four you can also check it in your calculator you can also check it in in your in your telephone right now and you can easily write your answer down into the comment section it will be really interesting to read about it because you know it depending obviously depending on what country you're in and it's really great to check your telephone to check your calculator uh, what do you think about it maybe maybe option a will be correct answer in your calculator yeah maybe option c will be correct answer because maybe there is some in other orders of operation because basically we are talking about the most popular one we are talking about pemdas we're talking about bodmas pedium das maybe sometimes people use in computer engineering in information technology so if pedium das is mentioned so this pedium das is mentioned uh, if pedium does is mentioned it might be a local or informal adaptation with a specific context so there are a lot of calculators uh, which use PEMDAS, pedium does order of operation and sometimes uh, you know pedium does e for informal technology people use for informal technology or computer engineering so in most cases people use PEMDAS. So in most cases people use PEMDAS, but maybe you want to solve this question according to PEMDAS. you need to look at this to to interpretation okay so here's my solution to this question. I really hope you understand it. I really hope you learn something new. You can also write a question down into the comment section. Write your notes down into the comment section. It would be really interesting to read about it. My answer is option B. We solved it according to PEMDAS. What do you think about it? Write your notes down into the comment section. Write your solution down into the comment section. And see you in the next videos. Have a great day.